My name is Tom, your friend and host with Weapons Education, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We got a great group of people on here, and I'm in one of those moods that if you're a subscriber, you know I like to get into these zones where I can really get to the point quickly and on point. Now, let's talk about this question. What's a dead giveaway that someone doesn't know anything about firearms? Well, well, well. Now, first of all, let me preempt this video. Uh, it's really not directed towards this audience because there's a lot of new gun owners, and I respect the fact that they may not know in the very, very beginning that a mag is called a mag, not a clip. So I'm not here to make fun of people who are trying to enhance their firearm skills. They want to get trained. They want to learn about ARs. They want to learn about 1911s. They want to learn about Glocks. They want to learn how to reload quickly and things like that. They want to learn how to carry, carry systems. So the, everyone's got a beginning point. So when I say what's a dead giveaway that someone doesn't know anything about firearms, this question is going right towards, well, I guess mainstream media and the demons who are trying to take our guns away. Because I do respect the people who are new to guns and don't know all the correct verbiage. That's why you're on weapons education to learn. With that said, here's some dead giveaways that dumb people actually believe or get sucked into with this CNN type stuff. Let's, let's get into it. I want your comments on this one. Okay, for instance, let's start with this. Let's start with this, okay? Here's a 1911. And if you're new to 1911s and you don't know all about them, that's okay. That's okay. You want to learn, that's why you're on this channel. But here's a 1911. It's a high, nice, glossy 1911. Here's a Glock. Okay, there's a Glock 27. Okay, nice. Perfect. This is a black gun. This is a shiny silver gun. Okay, now. Gun violence. So, a person who has no clue or who's trying to use propaganda to brainwash people will say that guns are violent. They'll write an article in MSNBC, CNN, etc., etc., New York Post, New York Times, all that stuff, and they will say, headlines, gun violence creates two deaths, gun violence creates mass shooting, gun violence, this, that, and the other. Hmm. So I'm going to do a test right now, start the video off, to see how violent my guns are and to see if that verbiage is even normal to the English language. Okay, here's a beautiful Ivor Johnson. Got to tell you what we're looking at. Four and a quarter inch. Gorgeous. I've done videos on these guns. Just Google Ivor Johnson's Weapons Education. Okay, now, I'm going to tell this Ivor Johnson to be violent and shoot over in that direction Okay, let's try it right now. Shoot! Didn't shoot. Hold on, this is a black gun. These are scary guns. It's a Glock. Okay, Glock, shoot! Shoot, come on, shoot! Didn't work. Well, I thought they are violent. Uh, Tasmanian devils, animals are. They're violent. A Bengal tiger, ooh, that would be violent if you had that in the house, wouldn't it? Hmm, a rabid raccoon. I wouldn't want that in the house. I'm not doing this off the cuff. I'm having fun with this one. So, when someone says a gun violence and they use that verbiage, they don't know what they're talking about. Or more importantly, they do know what they're talking about. And I want to start putting the word propaganda out there more so than it's worse than fake news. That's what Mussolini did. Look at history. He bought the media in Italy and brainwashed everyone so they would believe his way. 
So there's a certain party in the United States. As you know, we got two major parties, not to get too political. We got Republicans and we got Democrats, and one certain party likes to use propaganda to brainwash people. So now we know guns can't be violent. Can that piece of steel be violent? Let me see, but can my car be violent? Can it just, okay, car, I got a car in the driveway. Go drive! No, it didn't work. Didn't I know it didn't work because it, it's, it's not violent. I have to be the one to make it violent. I have to be the one to make this gun violent. I have to be the one to put my hand on it and premeditatedly pull that trigger. Okay? And firearms are designed to defend our lives and for hunting and for sporting, as we know. Let's go down my list. Okay, and uh, the worst in the media, well, I'm just looking at my list here, CNN, CBS, ABC, MSNBC, New York Post, New York Times, etc., etc., etc. Throw in your comments about the bogus propaganda. Let's change the word from fake news. And uh, I'm trying to get to Donald Trump, uh, President Trump, and tell him that you know, you're doing good with the fake news stuff and letting people know it's fake, but it's propaganda, it's brainwashing. That's what they're trying to do is brainwash it. It's not working on me. And I'm not going to get into the chemtrail stuff. That's, that's a whole other story. Okay, now, dead giveaways that someone doesn't know what the heck they're talking about with firearms. They want to base firearms on what they look like or the accessories that you can attach to them. Okay, let's talk about an AR-15. Is that scary? Well, well, well. How many hunting rifles are more powerful than a 5.56? Those of us on this channel, we know. How many guns will fire themselves at 800 rounds? What are they claiming? Something crazy. Oh, per second. Per second now they're up to. Whoa. Whoa! It's a semi-automatic. Now, let's talk about... They do not know the fact about AR-15s. Brief history, most of you know this. AR-15s in the 60s was designed by a company called Armor Light. Why? Because they wanted our troops to have a lighter weight weapon. Common sense. And civilians to have a lighter weight hunting rifle. Common sense. Who wants all that weight? And they wanted ammo that was lighter weight than what they were currently using at the time. Hence 5.56 five, or 223. Carry more rounds. Common sense. Do people know who are against firearms that an AR-15 can shoot 22s? Is the 22 that bad? Anyway, the point is armor light. Hence the letters AR and armor. Colt bought Armor Light out because they had such a brilliant idea of making a heavy weight rifle lightweight. That's all. That's it. It's because we put a rail around it, or, or Colt did at the time, and it got, it got more modular and more useful. We can put a scope on the top to defend our life. We can put a scope on the top to hunt. We can put a scope infrared, all the stuff we want to hunt and to defend our lives and to have enough firepower to defend our lives against what the bad guys have. Hmm, but you won't hear that on those media channels I mentioned. So, Armalite AR was purchased by Colt and then of course we got the, they just used the letters AR and now it's AR-15 and all the other ARs. It's just a lightweight rifle, modern-day rifle. 
Now here's another one. Here, here's a good one. Someone who doesn't know what they're talking about or who wants to brainwash people or who wants propaganda to brainwash everyone to ultimately disarm us. That's the ultimate goal for us to be like Venezuela. I'm on a roll here. Because this is my pet peeve. This irks me. I work close with the NRA. I love the NRA. And if there's a gun channel who's against the NRA, I don't watch them. I'm not, I'm not going to get up into a tangent with them. But gun channels who curse and gun channels who are anti-NRA, sorry. Okay, well then uh, start up your own little NRA and take your own donations. And get paid off by the liberals because you got a big channel and you, I don't want to sell myself out. With that said, how about states or like a person like Cuomo and California, poor you, my friends in California, and then all the states that says, 10 mags will save, 10 round mags will save lives. 10 round mags, okay, here's a 10 rounder. Okay, so I go boom, 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 bang, 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 drop the mag, I just put a new one in. Oh, how long did that take? Bang, 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 bang. I just put a new one in. How long did that take? Bum, 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 bum. Put a new 10 round mag in. How long did that take? So reducing the size of the mag is somebody who has no clue as to how to stop mass shootings and how to stop people from pulling triggers and murdering people or or while I'm on that where's uh hold on how about people who use knives to kill let me see about knife violence let me see this okay okay extra large espada stab me I want you to stab me or 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 stab the wall there do it do it it's not working okay well, obviously, the truth is, as we know, as logical human beings, we know that guns are not violent. We know that 10 round mags, it's, it, it's, it's an annoyance, but it's not going to stop a psychopath from carrying 10 10 round mags and having 100 rounds. Now, some people talking about mistakes, well, it's okay if you're new. You call a, um, a round a bullet. Well, of course, you get the cartridge, the primer, the, the gunpowder, and then the bullet. But that, those are learning curves for us good guys. And, uh, of course, the people who want to take our guns away call them bullets. And this guy had 20 thousand rounds of bullets let me see 20,000 rounds that's a lot of rounds okay 20,000 bullets 20,000 rounds hmm well when I go to the six hour Academy in a five-day training class I shoot 4,000 in a week and I do that a couple times a year so there goes 8,000 rounds and then I go somewhere else and train and there goes another 8,000 rounds so in training alone so, what's, what's 20,000? It's for training purposes. All right, now let's talk about background checks. Ooh, this is a good one. Yeah, I do think psychopaths should not have guns. And if they say there's loopholes. Well, why don't you do some more research and do the obvious check on the parents because most mass shootings are done by kids it seems I call them kids you know 18 to 24 and uh, like the Parkland shooter had well let's see uh, 40 plus house calls by the police uh, I'm not getting into that. Just don't blame us good guys for what psychopaths do. The one thing President Trump keeps bringing up is solve the psychopath 
problem from getting a gun. And of course, all of us want that. No one wants a psychopath having a gun. Now this red flag stuff, that's, that's out of control. That's, a, that's getting out of control. That's another video. I'm just talking about a dead giveaway. You, you know that someone is just off, off the wall and they don't know what they're talking about when it comes to guns. Or they're lying to get into the political world and move up the ladder and, and get that, we'll call it deep state money maybe. Or money. Money. Hey, here's a million dollars and... Just go anti-NRA, go anti-gun, go brainwash a couple million people. So, I'm here to tell you, I don't fall for any of it. Alright, they say no one hunts with an AR-15. A bogus, okay? I got a 308. i I'm going boar hunting with it. Uh, they think an AR-15 is the most powerful rifle ever. I mentioned that, how hideous. Oh, they think everyone in America can easily buy an automatic weapon. Easily. Hmm. So, if you got a felony, you can't buy a weapon. And you have to go through a background check. And if you do something wrong with a gun, we have strict laws in Florida. One strike, you're out. Jail, baby. It's like 10 or 15 years immediately. Oh, and they think AR-15s are fully automatic. Uh, no, they're not. It's semi-automatic. Oh, and, and then some... This, some people think that training is not necessary. Um, in some cases, yeah, you might get lucky and hit your target and save your life if you're not trained. But remember, uh, the average bad guy is going to point the gun at you and he's got two seconds in his brain before he pulls that trigger. And if you don't take him down within two seconds, you're dead. So if you're at a 7-Eleven and you're not trained and someone puts a gun to your head and you can't draw and shoot him in less than two seconds, you're making a mistake. This is serious stuff now. So get trained get trained, uh, something similar to the Six Hour Academy. They allow any guns, but there's a lot of good facilities throughout the country. And um, what else do I got here? I mentioned gun channels shouldn't curse. I don't think foul language should mix with deadly weapons. I think it's disgusting. And um, there you go. I want to know what you think. My name is Tom, the host of Weapons Education. Thank you. I've got a lot to bring to you in the future about gun laws, about carrying systems. Oh, look at this, if you're curious. I did a video on this, but look at this shoulder holster, new invention. Look at this. So this is a SIG 320. Look at this. Tilts. Snaps back, tilts, snap back. Three mags pointed to my belly button. Weapons education, like my channel, holsters, holsters.com. Got to talk about myself a little bit. And I'm proud of my leather factory, weapons education, holsters.com. And boy, when people get these holsters, and they're more addicted to the holsters than the weapons themselves, they get more leather, more leather, more leather. It's all good. So check this out. I call this the tilt. So the vertical tilt, straight up and down. You got gravity, right? And then on the left side, on this side with your left hand, you can grab your mags pointed towards your belly button, not pointed towards the ground, etc., etc. So go to the link below for weapons education. Holsters.com. I got so much to talk about. I just wanted to talk about these deadbeat political party who are trying to take our guns. And some people will say this, and I'll end it with this. Well, Obama, he didn't take our guns. He didn't have the Senate. He flat out said if he had the Senate, he would have done full confiscation. And that's what there are actual liberal presidential people who are going to go against Trump, and they're running on that. 
saying we want to take everyone's guns away. With all of this stuff, they have no idea what they're talking about. Well, they really do, but they're just lying. So please, America, on this channel, we're cool. We know what's going on. Throw in your comments, spread the video, let people know that guns are for us to defend our life. Guns are for sporting, for shooting, accuracy. It's better than throwing darts, right? More fun than that. And for hunting and food, the great outdoors. My name is Tom. Please thumb up the video and throw in your comments. If I had a sore bone with you somewhere, a sore nerve, I'm sorry. I, I, I get like this sometimes, all right? Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.